Is the reboot absolute and final? Will there be no more series of the Power Rangers that we know? Is there any hope they will cancel the reboot? Will the new universe be better? These are some of the questions fans have and I'm going to try to answer everything, but based on the information that has been released in all this time since we found out about the reboot. This must be discussed in detail, including everything that happened in the last seasons of Power Rangers since this could change the course of everything. The reboot was announced several years ago, it is not something that was started recently, although most people found out about it recently. The reality is that the Dino Fury series was only going to have one season and after that they were going to start the reboot. For some reason the reboot was delayed and because of this, Hasbro decided to make the second season thinking that after this the reboot would be ready. Obviously, this was not the case and for this reason they created the third season, which they changed the name to Cosmic Fury. We know that the excuse for creating these last two seasons was that the reboot was not ready, but we must also be honest and mention that Dino Fury has been one of the most successful Power Ranger series. It's been a while since a Power Ranger series was as successful as Dino Fury was and perhaps this also influenced the decision to create more seasons. This is known because it is the only saga that has three seasons after Mighty Morphin and it is the only saga in the entire history of Power Rangers with the same actors in all three seasons. This tells us that the series was having success and that Hasbro wanted to continue making more money from it. So why stop the series if they are making so much money? The reality is that Power Rangers is a roller coaster that goes up and down at all times. There is no stability in this series and because from time to time they completely changed the series, this was a mystery to everyone. When they release a new Power Rangers series with new characters, new powers, new costumes, and basically everything new they don't know if the audience is going to like that. Themes are very important in a Power Rangers series and sometimes there are themes that just don't work regardless of all the other things out there. Sometimes you can come from a great series that is very successful and when they change the series with everything new, they can fall into the abyss of total failure. This has also happened the other way around since they have come from a series that has been a failure and the next series has become a success. This is why Power Rangers is a bit of an unsafe bet since you don't know if the audience is going to like the new series or if it is going to be a total failure. So, what is the difference that the reboot makes? Well, the reboot also has a risk that the audience will not like it, but this risk will only be at the beginning and not every year. Remember that the reboot is going to be a series connected to the movies, which means that it will be an ongoing project and will not have drastic changes each year. What Power Rangers has done for 30 years is make drastic changes, create a series with everything new and this is basically a bet where you have the same odds of losing or winning. With a connected series that does not have drastic changes, you only have the risk that at the beginning the audience will not like the content, but as time passes, they can gradually adjust to all those negative things. Is there any chance they will cancel the reboot? For now, everything indicates that the reboot is inevitable and according to what has been published on the internet, Hasbro's intention was always to change the Power Rangers franchise to turn it into a series for adults. This vision could have been inspired by all the superhero movies and series that are having success right now. Those of us who know Power Rangers well know that this franchise has the potential to compete with the great superhero franchises and anyone who does not believe this is because they have no vision. Power Rangers has time travel, multiverses, villains from other planets, powerful gods, superheroes, giant machines, magic, and lots of action. The only thing that doesn't allow Power Rangers to compete with franchises like Marvel and DC is that it has always been created for a children's audience and this causes some things to become pure silly comedy. 
This is not a bad thing, they simply had to do it this way to make it suitable for children and it is for this same reason that it has never been able to compete with other franchises. In addition to this, there is also the issue of budget since they do not invest so much money in these children's programs since it is not necessary. Children prefer simple things that they can understand better. If we're honest, right now, Power Rangers has no competition in its category, and I'm talking about superhero shows for kids that aren't cartoons. There is no other series of this style that is at the level of Power Rangers in the children's category, so this means that the franchise can no longer grow anymore if it stays in that category. This is why the reboot should be for a more adult audience in which they can begin to invest more money, give more seriousness to the series, create darker villains, have deeper dramas, and make the action more real. I can assure you that a series with all the things that Power Rangers has, but that is directed for an adult audience, is going to be a total success. The biggest problem with the reboot is that Power Rangers already has a 30-year history and in order to create something completely new, they have to disconnect the old universe from the new universe. This is what has caused the division among fans and that many do not want to let go of everything they have experienced all this time. Obviously, this is very understandable since most of us have grown up watching Power Rangers and we always dreamed of seeing these superheroes on a different stage. Specifically, this is what has given some fans the idea that Hasbro should have only changed some things but continued with the same characters as always with the universe that we have seen all our lives. This would mean that with this idea we would have been able to see well-known characters, but in a more serious, dark series, without silly comedy, with a lot of drama, more violence, blood, and many other elements that would create something very epic and exciting. Unfortunately, the serious problem with this is that you cannot convert a children's series into a series for adults without having disastrous consequences and it is difficult to make the entire public aware that the new Power Rangers series is now for adults without have a big drastic makeover. This is because the characters that we have seen throughout our lives already have the mark that they are characters for a children's audience, and this can cause many parents to continue thinking that the new series is still for children. Instead, with the reboot there will be a complete makeover, and this is specifically what alerts people that they are not going to see the same thing they have seen for 30 years, so they should check if this is suitable for their children. They can't just change the logo of the franchise, they also have to change the actors, the style, the costumes, and many other things that can alert all parents that this is not the same Power Rangers for children. Will there be no more Power Rangers series that we know? Many fans have said that it would be great if they continued making series from the same universe, even if it is for a children's audience while at the same time making the new reboot series. This is a great idea on paper, but this also entails a huge investment and is like splitting a franchise into two parts. Maybe the best thing they can do is create an animated series that is less expensive and maybe with this they can continue with the children series, but for now there are no signs that this will happen. Write in the comments if you are for or against the reboot, like this video and subscribe for more about Power Rangers.